Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about environments in Postman. So, they what are environments in Postman? Let's take a look at the official what Postman says. It is a set of variables that allows you to switch the context of your request. So earlier we have seen uh, variable creation in collection and at a global level, but here we are going to see how we can create at an environment level. What is the use for this? So whenever we are working in our uh, real projects, we'll have different environments in which we work with right so we can create the variables around that and then we can select the scope and work with that particular environment now how to create environment there are two different ways to create environment first thing is you can click on this environment section in the left pane and you'll be able to see this section called create environment and uh, this particular plus icon if you have created the environment this will uh, go from here and you'll be able to see this. so you can click on the plus icon so let's create the first environment i'll write as dev environment okay now whatever variable you are defining here if when you are running your request you select the scope and that particular variable will be applied here so i'll write that it as dev base url okay we are working with this particular api raqres.in and we are going to take this particular first request so let me copy the initial base url for this and uh, I will paste it here in the initial value and uh, this is our dev, dev base URL. Now the second way to create a environment is you go to this you see this particular section called no environment next to this you'll be able to see this quick look option environment quick look I'll just click on this and I'll be able to see this particular option called add I click on add and here let's say I'll write test environment okay will write a variable called uh, test base URL and we'll use the same value here so I'll write initial value and it'll populate in the current value I'll click on save okay now we'll get to the request so I'll go to my collections I'll select this particular thing and I'll create a new request so add request now here I am going to copy this first request from req res.n so let me copy this and I'll paste it here okay I'll save this and I'll just see if it is working fine so yeah it is giving me the correct response now I go to the dev environment and I'll see what exactly the value we have set just to take the correct variable name so I will copy this and here if you see the initial base URL has been set so I'll go back to my request and uh, here I'll try to replace this okay so if I move this I can delete this and the syntax for using the variables is same as how you are using it in collection or at a global level so I'll put double curly brackets in the start I'll put the variable name and double curly brackets in the end now you'll be able to see an unresolved variable issue so if I hover over it, you will see unresolved variable because it does not know where it needs to refer it to. How do we set that up? So since we have set up the environment, if we go here and click on this particular drop down icon, we will be able to see whatever environments we have set up. So the moment we select dev environment, it is able to understand that this particular URL, what does this mean? Okay. So the variable reference will be resolved. Uh, let me take a look at this in the dev environment we have set it up I'll click on save maybe that was the issue now if I come to this request it is able to refer to the dev base URL correctly okay and here here if you see the scope is environment and this is initial and current now if I click on send I'm going to get a correct response here okay now what we'll try is in test URL we'll try to select another environment and let's say we are selecting test environment in this also we have set the same variable path but now if you'll say if you'll send this particular request we are going to get error because it is not able to send the request because this particular variable does not exist in test environment so it is not going to work so for that I have created two environments to understand the scope here now another way is when we are creating a particular request and let me select back dev environment here now if we are uh, creating a variable from here so let's say I want to create 
for users okay i click on set variables and uh, if i click on set as new variable you will be always be seeing this scope section right so earlier we discussed about global scope and collection scope but at that point of time we were seeing this particular option as disabled now this option is enabled when you have selected a certain environment in the top and that is going to get populated here so if i click on this here then that is going to create our variable at the environment level okay now second thing we need to understand is if we are setting a variable at a collection level and with the same name we are setting the variable at a environment level which one is going to take precedence so let's take a look about this so in my collection i have created one variable called url which is referring to the same place so let's change the dev environment variable with the same name so i'll go to my environment and uh, i'll go to dev environment and here i will rename this so this is the way you can update your variables as well so i'll click on save here now i'll go back to my request and uh, i'll come here instead of dev base url i'll write it as url so i'll update it here as well now see this particular url is defined at both collection level and environment level since this particular environment is mentioned here it is going to refer at environment level okay so if i click on send it is going to work fine now let's say i change this to let's say test environment okay now if i hover over this you will see that it is now referring to the collection level so environment level is first and then the collection level is there okay now we'll discuss about global variable okay so let's say uh, for understanding global variables i'll click on this and here if you see i already have a global variable defined forward slash users and we are going to discuss around this like what exactly happens if we create with the same particular name how does it react so i'll go to my i'll select dev environment here i'll just save this i'll go to my environment section and i'll create an, another variable with the same name what existing global variable so let's write global variable and uh, the value was forward slash users we'll just cross check by hovering over this and here forward slash users global variable is the name okay now i'll save this and <coughs> i'll go to my request so here we see forward slash users is there right i'll select this and i will put double curly brackets global variable okay now the same variable name is set at both environment level and global level but since we have selected this particular environment it is going to take precedence over global so if i hover over this you will be able to see that it is referring the environment variable now if i click on send here we are able to get the correct response so let's take a look at what exactly is shown in the quick lookup right now so if i click on the quick lookup here you see the same variable name is reflected both places right but this particular value is striked out so that means it is using this particular value now let's say i change the environment scope if i change it to test environment or no environment and i click on save then it is going to refer the global variable value what we have set it at global level so first thing is it takes the environment level is always considered as the highest level and then the global level and then the collection level so this uh, and we can discuss about how to delete the environments and all so you just go to this particular environment section and let's say i don't want to work with this particular environment i can just click on this and i will click on delete and i'll click on delete here and this will delete my environment and we can add as many variables as we want here update the variables and use it accordingly in our projects so that sums up the video for uh environments uh in postman we are going to discuss in detail as well regarding uh postman and i have uh, other tutorials as well uh, so do follow along let me know for any feedback thank you very much have a nice day